uh, in this video uh, we are speaking about the drug resistance in staphylococcus aureus in the previous video we have seen about the staphylococcus aureus we will speak about the drug resistance in this section so uh, uh, when the staphylococcus aureus is susceptible to all the antibiotics uh, what is the first choice antibiotics we use so when the staph aureus is susceptible we can use one antibody so this is the staph aureus consider this to be the staph aureus when it is antibiotic susceptible the first choice of drug which you will prefer is the penicillin so the penicillin is used here so how does this staph aureus become resistant to the use of penicillin you will see that now if this is a membrane of the staph aureus it has got a protein which is called the penicillin binding protein so what is the function of this penicillin binding protein it is to synthesize the cell wall so this synthesizes the cell wall so the penicillin uh, basically attaches to this penicillin binding protein and in that way it inhibits the cell wall synthesis in the bacteria so it inhibits the cell wall synthesis so this is the action of the penicillin on staph aureus the penicillin binds on the penicillin binding site on the membrane and uh, uh, in that way it inhibits the cell wall synthesis in the bacteria so that is how penicillin is acting now because of the last uh, irrational use of the penicillin now the, what the bacteria do the bacteria has found out a means by which it become resistant to penicillin so how it become resistant to penicillin so the bacteria started synthesizing a penicillinase enzyme or beta lactamase enzyme so this penicillinase enzyme degrades the drug penicillin in that way it became resistant to penicillin so how this penicillinase producing stuff or this are produced so the staph aureus what it do is that it acquired a gene in its plasmid it acquired a new gene in its plasmid that new gene is known as blas blas that is sorry so uh, because uh, this new gene has gone into the plasmid how this new gene is acquired by the plasmid of the bacteria so this gene is acquired by two minutes 90 percent of the time it is by transduction and 10 percent is due to conjugation 10 percent is due to conjugation so the bacteria has now acquired a new gene in its plasmid uh, mostly by transduction so what is transduction it is the exchange of genetic material between bacteria by means of bacteriophage so bacteriophage are virus which are infecting the bacteria so through the bacteriophage it has acquired a new gene from other bacteria then 10 percent of the time it has uh, resulted from a conjugation so anyway the blast gene when it expresses it produces beta lactamase enzyme or it is also known as penicillinase so what this penicillinase or beta lactamase do it will degrade the penicillin drug so in that way the staphylococcus aureus has become resistant to penicillin so these beta lactamase producing stains are called beta lactamase producing staph aureus staph aureus so with the use of penicillin beta lactamase producing staph aureus have emerged now what will what drug will you use in beta lactamase producing strains so drug of choice in beta lactamase producing strains staph aureus is methicillin you can use methicillin And second one, the oxacillin can be used. Cloxacillin, cloxacillin, dicloxacillin, cloxacillin. 
and nafcillin. These are the drug of choice in penicillinase producing or beta lactamase producing staph aureus nafcillin. So either of these drug can be used. So now what did the bacteria do with the use of uh, this? These drug are actually beta lactamase resistant ones against the beta lactamase producing strains. These drugs are used. So with the use of methicillin the bacteria now has become resistant so how will it acquire the resistance so you can see the staph aureus here so the staph with the use of methicillin the staph aureus has now acquired a gene in its chromosomal dna so this is a chromosomal dna that the staph aureus has acquired a new gene in its chromosomal DNA. So, uh, this gene is known as the MEK A gene. This gene is acquired by means of transduction from which bacteria? Staphylococcus scurry. Scurry, which is a non pathogenic organism. So, from this organism, the staph aureus has now acquired a new gene in its chromosomal DNA, which is known as the MEK A gene. How uh, did staph aureus get this uh, gene from staph curry through the process of transduction? So, transduction is exchange of genetic material between two bacteria by means of bacteriophages. So, this new gene, when it expresses, it produces penicillin binding protein 2A. So, this is an altered binding site. So, this penicillin binding protein PB, P2A is an altered binding site where the altered binding site where the penicillin cannot bind. Where penicillin cannot bind. So this is known as methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus. So MRSA, it shows resistance to all penicillin. It shows resistance to all penicillins. So first we have used penicillin and beta lactamase producing strains have emerged and we have started using uh, methicillin, nafcillin, etc. Now the uh, methicillin resistant staph aureus have emerged, which is resistant to all penicillin. So methicillin resistance is chromosomal. Because of the new gene in chromosomal DNA, this resistance have emerged. So it is chromosomal and it is hospital acquired. acquired. So what is the drug of choice here in methicillin resistant staph aureus? drug of choice in MRSA that is vancomycin so vancomycin is used here so drug of choice in carrier in most of the time the carrier is nasal carrier so 50% of the time it is nasal carrier so in nasal carrier what drug you use topical mupirocin topical mupirocin now in Skin carrier, which drug you can use? Skin carrier, you can use chlorhexidine. Now, how do you screen the carrier? Screening of carriers is how it is done. Screening of carriers. So, most commonly, we do a nasal swab. Do with a nasal swab. So, it is inoculated onto which agar mannitol salt agar mannitol salt agar with cefoxitin disc cefoxitin disc so this is the medium for growing mrsa so now mrsa will produce yellow colonies on this medium so yellow colonies now this make a gene is best expressed at which temperature it is best expressed at 30 degree celsius so community acquired uh, mrc is associated with pentovalentine leukocytic gene now 
uh, we have treated the methicillin resistance with the vancomycin. Now vancomycin resistance have emerged in the bacteria. Now vancomycin resistance is because it is plasmid encoded. So it is plasmid encoded and it is because of a due to van a gene the gene is van a gene which is derived from which bacteria endrococci so from endrococci the star code is now case a new gene which is known as a van a gene so how will you find the uh, vancomycin resistance for this you have to do a broad dilution technique and have to find the minimum inhibitory concentration so minimum inhibitory concentration is a minimum concentration of the drug at which the bacterial growth is inhibited so by doing a broad dilution technique you have to find the mic for vancomycin so vancomycin so if you find the mic of vancomycin for other staph aureus if it is greater than 16 microgram per ml it is vancomycin resistant staph aureus VRSA vancomycin resistant saporis MIC is greater than 16 microgram per ml. So that is vancomycin resistant. Then this another strain which is known as vancomycin intermediate resistant staph aureus. So in intermediate synthesis, this is just because of increased cell wall synthesis in the bacteria. Intermediate resistance is due to increased cell wall synthesis in bacteria. Here what will be the range of MIC or minimum inhibitory concentration it ranges between 4 to 8 microgram per ml. So this is the MIC. If MIC is in this range it is vancomycin intermediate uh, resistant staphoris. So if the staphoris is susceptible to vancomycin that is vancomycin susceptible staphoris VSSA. In, in this case, the MIC will be less than 2 microgram per ml. So, what is the drug of choice in vancomycin resistant staph aureus? It is linsolid. It is linsolid. So, that is an important question. Vancomycin resistant will use linsolid. So, that is all about the drug resistance in staphylococcus aureus. We will uh, deal more with the uh, methicillin resistance and D-test in the further videos. Uh, thank you for watching this video. To see more videos on my channel, please subscribe to the channel.